So you decided to get a divorce. Okay, in today's video, I'm going to explain the difference between the two types of divorces you can get. The first one is agreed or uncontested, and the second one is contested or not agreed. The first one is less common, is where the both, both parties uh, are in agreement to everything that has to do with a divorce. It's easier, faster, and costs a lot less money. The second type, the contested, which is the most common, is where there is one point of contention or more between the two parties and it requires litigation. My name is Mehdi Trakawi. I'm a civil litigation attorney in Houston, Texas, and my channel provides general civil litigation knowledge to the public. If you like this content, I ask you to subscribe, hit the like button, click on the bell icon so you can get notification of videos each time I post them, and let's get to today's video. Before we get started, I am not your lawyer. This is not legal advice. This video is for informational and educational purposes only. If you have a divorce case that requires legal attention, I ask you and recommend that you seek local counsel in your city of state. Okay, so you decided to get a divorce. Well, before I get into the two types of divorces, I would ask you to perhaps think about it. It's not an easy decision and consider whether a divorce is the right thing for you to do. A lot of times uh, I see individuals in my office that come and they, they think that they reach this, a decision to file for a divorce when uh, really it was just a miscommunication between the two parties. So although we do divorces and I personally represent clients in divorce matters, I always ask clients if there is a way for them to reconcile, for them to go to therapy, counseling, any type of uh, treatment or any kind of option that's available to keep the couple together, especially if there are children. Obviously, children get affected by, by a divorce, so I'd like to see couples try their best to perhaps, um, uh, you know, uh, work out any kind of misunderstanding because you'd be surprised how many times divorces are caused by simple miscommunication. Now, if you are in an abusive relationship, I certainly do not recommend that you continue in this relationship, especially if the abuse is physical. Uh, also, uh, verbal abuse is not should not be tolerated. So, if if you are a victim of any kind of abuse, I would certainly ask you to uh, seek uh, uh, the help of the local authorities, and um, and maybe it's time to file for a divorce. Okay, the first type of divorce um, that uh, a couple may have is a uncontested or agreed divorce. This is the least common type of divorce simply because the two parties are in agreement and there is nothing to fight about. In this situation, I highly suggest that you consider an option to perhaps uh, represent yourself. If money is at issue and you don't want to uh, pay an attorney, let's say a couple that doesn't have any assets, uh, they don't have much debt, uh, let's say there are no children, this would be a perfect example of a, an agreed divorce. There is a lot of websites and providers online that can sell you a packet that is compliant with the local uh, laws and rules of your state. All you have to do is fill it out, present it to the, to the divorce court uh, clerk, and, um, and then you'll get a date in front of a judge when they can sign your divorce. Again, this type of divorce is recommended for individuals that want to save on money, uh, couples that don't have uh, a lot of assets, they don't have uh, debts, they don't have children. Now, even if a couple does have assets, does have debts, and uh, do have children, uh, if the couple have they, they have children that are minor, you can still have an agreed divorce as long as you are in agreement as to how the assets will be divided, how the debts will be divided, and uh, on the child support. The good news about the child support is that it's it's got guidelines by the state. Um, the attorney general typically enforces uh, child support uh, matters, 
So um, based on the individual's income, there are certain set guidelines on how to calculate child support. So that's really not up for negotiation. Um, it's usually whatever the guidelines of the, of the state that you live in uh, require. Now, in terms of the debts and the assets, that could be anything that the two parties have agreed upon. It doesn't have to be 50-50 or 40-60. It could be anything that the parties have agreed upon as long as it's documented in the, uh, in the, in the contract. So how does an uncontested divorce uh, work in the state of Texas? Uh, and you'll have to check for uh, whatever rules are, uh, you know, the, the rules of your particular state. But I, I think and I assume that they're not too far off from the states of from the rules of, uh, of the state of Texas. So here in Texas, when you file for any contested divorce, first you're going to get a waiver of service. Uh, a waiver of service is basically saying, um, let's say the husband filed for the divorce and uh, uh, deposited a complaint or a petition for divorce with divorce court. The first thing that you want to sign if the divorce is agreed is a waiver of service. All that does is just says, tells the court, look, uh, my husband or my wife filed for divorce. He doesn't have to serve me. I waive service of process. I've received the, the, the lawsuit and that's it. It doesn't waive any rights. It doesn't necessarily make you agree just yet to the terms of the divorce. All it does, it says, I know I'm being uh, sued for divorce. Uh, I understand it. I've received the, uh, the paperwork and I don't need to be served. The next step in an agreed divorce is to draft the divorce decree. And that's why if you go to one of these online providers, they will help you step by step in, uh, in questions when it comes to um, uh, the division of assets, when it comes to visitations, when it comes to uh, child support. Visitations, most states will have a stand-in order or a standard order of how visitations will, uh, will occur. Uh, it's typically a couple hours uh, each Thursday and visitations over the weekend uh, every other uh, weekend or twice a month or some variation of this. It's usually a standard possession order and the provider that's online or your attorney if you decided to hire a lawyer will explain to you what a standard possession order is and how you can go about executing it. But mostly a divorce between an agreed divorce between uh, two individuals is going to be other than child support is going to be negotiated and however they want to uh, to want to, 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 to however they want to set set up the terms of the divorce and agree on division of debts division of, of assets the judge is likely to sign off on whatever the two have agreed upon as long as it doesn't affect the rights of the children an agreed divorce is also faster in the state of texas uh, there is a 60-day waiting period before you can get a divorce no one can get divorced within the 60 days after they filed the petition. So uh, it's kind of a cooling off period. Um, maybe perhaps the, the couple decides that they, they wanted to reconcile, they want to uh, make sure that they, uh, they want to get back together, but the law gives them a 60 day period during which they cannot finalize the divorce. After the 60 days, then they can go ahead and uh, ask for a, a hearing with the judge in order to finalize the divorce decree. In summary, an agreed divorce is basically an agreement between a couple that are not disputing or not in dispute as to any term of the divorce. They, they get a uh, waiver of, uh, of, pro of service filed with the court, and then after that's filed, then you get a uh, divorce order um, drafted either by an attorney or, or an online legal provider and submitted to the court for approval. The second kind of divorce is the contested or disputed divorce, and that's the most common type of divorce. And fortunately, I certainly would like to see more uh, divorce. Well, first of all, I'd like to see more people stay together, but if divorce is what has to happen, I'd like to see more people uh, get into an agreed divorce. It's a lot better and easier on the couple, on the children, on the finances. If the divorce is contested, that means there is one or more issue uh, that the uh, couple are disagreeing upon. And that could be division of assets, that could be a child support, that could be visitations, um, and a myriad of things 
that um, that the couple can disagree upon. Obviously, in this situation, you do want to have an attorney, an experienced attorney in family law that can guide you through the process, and hopefully, a good attorney can explain to you what the law says, so that you don't have unreasonable unreasonable expectations when it comes to uh, child support, when it comes to um, division of community estate, and the attorney should be able to explain to you. Uh, the difference between community property, separate property, community debt, separate debt, and uh, and help you help guide you through the process. A good family attorney is going to tell you as it is. Um, the law is the law. This is how child support is calculated. The, you know, visitations are are going are most likely than not going to be ordered, whether you like for the other side to see the kids or not. Um, this is how much you're going to pay your uh, you're likely to pay your spouse, whether you like it or not. So a good attorney that explains uh, uh, the client's rights and obligations from the beginning can make the entire uh, divorce process, although disputed, can make it a lot easier, simpler, faster, and cheaper. Keep in mind that when you have two individuals fighting, the only party that benefits is the attorney. Uh, you have a spouse that wants to drag the husband uh, uh, through the courts. You want a husband that wants to uh, turn the, the, his wife's uh, uh, life uh, to, to misery and um, drag them to court in front of a judge over anything and everything. The only thing that you're doing is you're paying the attorney more money. Um, so I would, I would think about that, especially if children are involved. Um, I would say remember the good times. Remember when you guys took your vows and it was uh, things were good. Let's focus on those times and hopefully try to make this separation as easy and as friendly and also as easy on the children as possible. Uh, when the parties attack each other in court and air out their grievances in public, as I said, the only uh, parties that win are the attorneys. And unfortunately and sadly, uh, the parties that happen to sustain the most damages or uh, the most damage are the children uh, because they have to live through that. So hopefully you can agree to as much as possible. And if there are certain things that are still in dispute, then the judge can rule on those matters and make things uh, easier. Um, a, uh, a disputed divorce, you know, there is no timeline. It can take uh, two or three months, four months after filing. Uh, it could be resolved during a mediation. And so certain courts, certain family courts uh, require mediation. It's not an option. Uh, hopefully it gets resolved during mediation. If not, it can go all the way to trial. It, it, it can be costly. It can take a long time. So these are things you want to consider when you are uh, uh, divorcing or you are uh, engaging in the, in, the, in the divorce process. I hope today's video was informational and helpful. If you like this kind of content, I ask you to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, click the bell when you, to get notified of new videos, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.